Hello, it is Republic. I am Shubham from India, and I'll be talking about the recent rise of right-wing politics and the massive victory of the right-wing political party in India. So, the far-right party in India is the BJP, kind of the Republican version of India, and they have. Uh, won a massive victory in the elections this year. So what this means for the country? Well, the BJP is a very Hindu nationalist party. They are extremists and they are very much integrated with another organization, the RSS, which is another Hindu extremist party. Okay, so the problem with that is. There are people in the RSS as well as BJP. There are people, the even including the founder of the RSS, they think that fascism is a good idea, and they actually admire Hitler. They adore Hitler, and they think that India should become a Hindu nation and a fascist nation so the fact that they think fascism is a good idea and they have won this massive victory this year so it means that in the next five years in the next term they they could try to stop democracy in india although i know it's a flawed democracy and all but it's still the largest democracy in the world so they might try to stop that it's actually scary about how violent they are. I mean, they have a group called the Bajrang Dal, and what they do is they attack young unmarried couples. Sometimes they beat them up to death or almost death, and sometimes they force them to marry each other. Uh, they are just young couples dating each other, and Bajrang Dal forces them to marry each other. Like because they are conservative, they they don't they don't agree with modernization. They are very conservative and they think the ancient Indian culture should be brought back. Whatever the ancient Indian culture was, I don't know, but they can go to extreme point, extreme lengths for that. And there's another. Well, uh, problem. The Punjab workers, or in English, they would be called the cow protectors, more like the cow vigilantes. And they they are very much active in the northern part of India, the North Indian states, uh, where the BJP has a huge hold. And what they do is the mob lynch on people, they for who sell beef or eat beef. Or transport beef, or who they just think that would they would uh, eat beef. May I mean uh, they might make a Muslim guy just. I mean yes, Islam is dangerous, but just a regular Muslim guy. They might take a regular Muslim guy, tie him up to a tree, and beat him, and force him to eat pork maybe or something like that. Um, they would do that. The, so that's how violent they are. Um, look up saffron terrorism in Google or anywhere. That might give you some idea of what I'm talking about. I mean, it's a very scary situation here right now, and it will probably get even scarier in the next five years. Um, there. Were and there's another problem that even if even if they are just right wing, there are many people who are left wing and they still voted for him because BJP baited everyone and they took the bait. The atheists, agnostics, liberals, everyone they took the bait of nationalism. BJP baited everyone with nationalism. They have 
BJP, the RSS, they have distracted people from issues like equality, unemployment, hunger, poverty, etc., healthcare, etc. They have distracted people from these real issues to issues like nationalism, anti Pakistan, anti Muslim, uh, etc. And people have taken the bait, and that's why they got so many votes and so many seats in the parliament that it's almost scary. And that it seems like India is very close to becoming a fascist state from the largest democracy in the world. Thank you. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.